today I'm coming to you from sunny Florida at Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge on the small island of Sanibel. Hi everyone, welcome to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's Conservation Connect. My name is Chelsea McKinney, your host as we check out cool conservation careers, fascinating wildlife, and the latest technology that conservation professionals use to study and observe all sorts of animals. Today, I'm coming to you from sunny Florida at Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge on the small island of Sanibel. This refuge is part of the largest mangrove ecosystem in the entire United States. Mangroves are special kinds of trees that grow in shallow saltwater areas. This refuge's mangrove areas are important habitat for wildlife. Ding Darling is especially famous for its bird life. This refuge provides important habitat to over 245 different kinds of birds. It's especially valuable to those birds that migrate to South and Central America. It's one of the first chances those birds have to rest after crossing the Gulf of Mexico on their long return flight every spring. However, today we're going to be looking at wading birds that stay here year round. And here to tell us more about the birding at Ding Darling, we're going to have Tony Westland, a refuge ranger. Tony, thank you so much for welcoming us to your beautiful refuge today. And I'm wondering, what exactly is a refuge ranger and what is it that you do here at Ding Darling? Well, I definitely have the best job in the world. Every day I come to work and it is very different, but my primary job is to educate the public, focusing mostly on school kids, about the environment and the importance of our wildlife. And how did you get interested in a conservation career with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service? I grew up hunting and fishing in Wisconsin and knew that I always wanted to work outdoors. So I got a degree in environmental science and environmental education and found my passion out here with the Fish and Wildlife Service. Awesome. Now, I, Tony, I know Ding Darling is known for its wading birds. What exactly is a wading bird? So it's a tall bird that lives in the water. Um, it feeds in the estuary and the ecosystem we have here at Ding Darling. The one we're known for that most people come to see is the roseate spoonbill. This beautiful bird. Isn't it beautiful? This pink bird, many people think, is a flamingo because <laughs> people come to Florida and what do they see but flamingos. flamingos. Um, but actually, the native pink bird is the roseate spoonbill and it has a spoon-shaped bill puts it in the water, shifts its head back and forth, sifting through and feeding on small crustaceans and fish. Um, when they're born, they're a pale white and they actually get pinker with age. And then when they're three years or older, they get a dark crimson stripe and they're ready then to make little spoonbills. That's a very appropriate name. I like that a lot. <laughs> Now, what kinds of technology do you have here at Ding Darling to help educate the public about the refuge? We know that people are using smartphones and technology, and we want them to get out in nature, so why not incorporate those two things together? So here at Ding Darling, we had the first ever iNature Trail, where people can take their smartphones, download an app, scan QR codes, and get a ranger-led tour. Besides that, um, we're debuting a new phone app. It's actually a game um, app where you can compete against people alongside with you, answering questions about wildlife. And it also has a component where you can take pictures and share them. Before leaving the refuge, I wanted to see the roseate spoonbills for myself. My picture taking seemed to ruffle this bird's feathers. The roseate spoonbill's color really stands out in the wild. The pink color comes from the invertebrates that they eat. As they flew over, I was in awe of their size and grace. Just like Tony had said, they really do sweep their heads side to side to feed. 
After feeding, the birds went to the beach to rest. I'll long remember this beautiful afternoon watching these amazing birds. What can we and the folks watching do to help protect wading birds? Like anything in all wildlife, they need our help. And so clean water is number one. You know, not wasting our water, working hard to get people to help save water in whatever ways, um, and teaching our youth and our children how important water is. That will have a direct benefit on all wildlife. Thank you so much, Tony, for the sneak peek of all that Ding Darling has to offer. Thanks for coming. How awesome is it that conservationists can use the latest technology to help you enjoy your nation's bountiful wildlife. I hope you all are having as beautiful a day as we are. Make sure to get outside and enjoy the wildlife in your area. We'll see you guys next time on the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's Conservation Connect.